Welcome to CoSpider. In this video, we are going to discuss how to set up application on GitHub repository using Visual Studio. In this video, we cover what is GitHub repository, how to use GitHub in Visual Studio, add remote repo in GitHub, push code from local repo to remote repo. So let's first understand what is GitHub repository. The GitHub or Git is an open source version control system. So let's understand what is version control system. A version control system keeps the revision of code and modification of code in a central repository. This allows the developers to easily collaborate as they can download a new version of the software, make changes and upload a newest version. Each developer can see the new changes and download them and contribute them. Like GitHub, you may know that the other version system like TFS, Team Foundation Server and SBN. But here in the GitHub, it is open source. That means we can contribute the code in the GitHub repository. The Git repository is a hosting service, but it adds many own features. In earlier, Git is used as a command line tool, but now the GitHub provides the OE based graphical interface. We can use the graphical interface to use on GitHub repository. It also provides the access and control and several collaboration features, such as wikis, basic task management tools for every project. On future, if it is possible, then I will create a GitHub repository playlist, then it can help to you to understand in details. So let's move to the browser and we'll see there how we create the GitHub repository using the graphical user interface. To access the GitHub site, you can type that github.com. And if you are new to the GitHub, then you should sign up using the sign up button. My account is already there in the GitHub. So I click on the sign in button and here we need to log in with the email ID and password. Now we can see that I am on the GitHub account. So let's click here and go to the profile. You can see that this is our the Code Spider GitHub account. And you can access the Code Spider GitHub account using github.com slash Code Spider. So first we need to create a repository. So to create a repository, click on the repository tab and click on the new button. Here we need to type as repository name. Let's say I'm type here sp.net core web api and here we need to add some description and while we create the repository there is two options one is public and another is private if you choose the public then anyone on the internet can see the repository while in the private you choose who can see and commit to this repository so as this is a dummy repository so i don't want to set for the public so i make it as private and click on the create repository the repository URL is github.com slash core spider slash sp.net core web API. To use the GitHub in our system, there is three options. One is command line. Second one is the desktop version of the GitHub. And third option is you can use the GitHub using your Visual Studio or also you can use the GitHub using VS Code as well. And you can see that whenever I create the GitHub repository, the GitHub repository URL is http github.com core spider, then our GitHub repository name, then dot git git is the extension of the github account also you can see that some command line is there git init git add git commit git branch remote push all these things on future we may create a github playlist then we should discuss about the github in more details so for now let's focus how to create the github using visual studio so let's flip to visual studio and we'll see there how to use the github in there click on the visual studio you can see that there is four options. One is a clone a repository, open project solution, open a local folder, then create a new project. Here you can see that a clone a repository. That means here we get a code from online repository like GitHub and Azure DevOps. We use the GitHub, so we need to clone a repository. So click on that. You can see now it asks to enter a Git repository URL and your local path. I want to create the clone of Git using this path. So let's copy this path and paste here and here we need to the repository location we have created the repository using this url let's copy this and paste here then let's click the clone button you can now see it open the visual studio and ask us to log in using github in visual studio so let's log in using our github credentials you can now see success message the repository was cloned successfully so in this path, we need to create a sp.net core web API project, push this local repository 
to the remote repository so let's first discuss what is local repository and what is remote repository remote repository means that means your github account repository that means this exists in the cloud server whereas the local repository means your local code so let's create a project here file new project choose as sp.net core web application click next and on the same location we want to create the project let's name as spnet web api core create and this is the typical sp.net core web application template you can choose according to a requirement currently i am doing the api project so i need to check here api and this should be dotnet core and the version is sp.net core 3.1 and let's click on the create button and you can see that as we have cloned the sp.net core web api into our local repository then it's named as sp.net core web api and this is on the master branch what is master branch and what is other branch will details in our upcoming videos and also here you can see that there is lots of command one is new branch one is page one is push and what is create pull request so here we need to understand that this is our local repository and this is our remote repository we want that all of this code has been pushed into this location so use the github you should go through the team explorer also you can find the team explorer on the view tab view team explorer and let's click on the manage connection and connect to github you can see that it again asks to log in using the github account so click on the sign in with your browser you can see that as we have already logged in automatically logged into the visual studio as well so now we need to push the local repository to the remote repository so we go through the team explorer and double click on the sp.net core web api you can now see there is lots of option when it changes branches pull request seeing tags etc you can now see whenever i mouse over you can see that there is 23 changes is so there so let's click on the pencil icon sp.net core web api core and dot bs in, in the dot bs all the git version is available here we don't need the git version to push into our remote repository so i right click on there and click on the ignore these local items also we don't want this ignore this as well and as we change the ignore file so another dot git ignore is created then here you can see that as we have changed something then it asks us to enter a message about the commit stage and commit stage you can see that the commit created locally that means all the changes has been deployed in locally but we need to push into remote and here you can see that there is an option is push that means it can push the this repository local repository to the remote repository so let's click on the push button you can see that there is an option is pushing master started your task will continue running in the background you can now see both the project has been pushed into the local to remote also you can set the readme file that means a text file about your information let's commit the new file that means save this readme file so in this simple way you can push the local repository to the remote repository suppose we have changed something here and we need to push again suppose i am creating a folder here suppose add new folder let's name as demo let's create a file here add new item save this you can see that now the three changes is has been made so let's click on this pencil icon and you can see that on the demo folder the style setter css has been added let's click on the sync button you can see that now syncing the current branch all item has been synced like click on the master then click on the push it pushing the current branch wait for some second you can now see it has been pushed into our you can now see it has been pushed in our remote repository click on the demo you can see that the style sheet css has been found as well so let's see another example is how to create a file in the remote repository and how to get in the local repository or visual studio so let's click a add file create new file suppose i want to create as demo.txt type some information let's commit a new file 
you can now see the demo.txt has been added on the remote repository. So let's see how to pull this demo.txt in the local repository or in the GitHub account using Visual Studio. Click on the master, click the pull. You can now see it pulling the changes from the current branch. Now the demo.txt has been added here. Suppose let's upload a file. Let's upload this file 123.png. Let's comment new changes. You can now see the 123.png has been added on the remote repository. To get it in local, just click on the master and pull the request. It pulling the changes from the current branch. And you can see that 123.png has been pulled from the remote repository to the local repository. So according to this way, we can communicate the GitHub repository from local to remote and vice versa. And you can see that to access this repository, the URL is github.com, codespider and asp.net core web API. Let's copy this and open an incognito window and let's type here. And you can see that there is a 404 error. This is due to we have created this sb.net core web api is a private repository if you have created this repository as public then it should be accessed to the public so to do this go to the settings click on the change visibility and make as public let's copy this thing type this thing and click on the i understand now it's such public let's refresh this now you can see it is available on the public that means anyone in the internet can access our repository code so according to this way we can deal with the github account using visual studio that's it in the video do like and subscribe for more upcoming videos thanks for watching